Hello there and welcome to another Tipsy Tales, the show where I get tipsy and retell you things. Today begins a journey that we are going to go on together and that would be Pokemon. I grew up in the 90s, I grew up with Pokemon. So we're going to dive into each generation, video per generation, it's going to be fun, hang out, grab some water. But before I begin, we must get tipsy. All right, we begin with the year is 1996, specifically February 27th. Did I read that off a page? You bet your butt I did. So we have Pocket Monsters Red and Green. That is the original release of Pokemon, Pocket Monsters. Followed with later on that year, Pocket Monsters Blue. Fast forward two years later to Pokemon Red and Blue release. Yes. We love lamination here. Pokemon Red and Blue take place in the region of Kanto, which is based on the real life Kanto region in Japan. I will be pronouncing things wrong and that is okay, we will survive. Now this is one distinct region uh, as shown in later games with the whole different regions in every game uh, with different geological, de hmm. with different geographical uh, habitats for the 151 existing uh, Pokemon species, uh, along with human populated towns and cities. Kanto has multiple locations. We've got Pallet Town, Viridian City, Pewter City, uh, Lavender Town. You get the theme, it's colors. That's, that's the theme. Each city has a gym leader serving as the boss and the elite four and final rival battle occur at the Indigo Plateau. This is pretty much cookie cutter for every other game. Now, the player begins in their hometown of Pallet Town. After venturing alone in the tall grass, the player is stopped by Professor Oak, a famous Pokemon researcher. Professor Oak explains to the player that while Pokemon have been living there and encountering them alone can be very, very dangerous. No duh. He takes the player to his laboratory where the player meets Oak's grandson, a rival aspiring Pokemon trainer. Nothing like Hero's Journey, huh? The player and the rival are instructed to choose their starter Pokemon that they will then venture out with. Now they have to choose between Plant Baby, the cool kid you want to be friends with at school, and Edgy Boy who acts tough but is really squishy on the inside. Oak's grandson will always choose the Pokemon that is strongest against the one that you choose. And then he will challenge the player to a Pokemon battle. And this whole battling the rival thing will continue throughout the rest of the game. Also throughout the game, the player will encounter and battle the forces of Team Rocket, a criminal organization that abuses Pokemon. I was gonna make a very political topical topic point, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. So they devise numerous plans for stealing rare Pokemon, which the player then must foil. While visiting the region cities, the players will encounter special establishments called gyms. Inside these buildings are gym leaders, each of whom the player must defeat in a Pokemon battle. All of this is so that they may obtain all of the eight gym badges. Once the badges are acquired, the player is then given permission to enter the Indigo League, which consists of the best Pokemon trainers in the region. There the player will meet the Elite Four and finally the new champion. If you guess the player's rival, you are correct. Now we also have Pokemon Yellow. Ta-da! Special Pikachu Edition. It is an enhanced version of Red and Blue and was originally released in September uh, 1998 in Japan, followed by a North American release in October 1999. The game was designed to resemble uh, the Pokemon anime series, with the player receiving a Pikachu as their starter Pokemon and his rival starting with an Eevee. Some non-player characters resemble those from the anime, including Team Rocket's Jesse and James. And that is all I have. Okay. I'm not used to these videos being relatively short because usually there's a lot of things involved, but you know what? My last Kingdom Hearts timeline video really took a number on me. Now, this is the beginning of an era for Pokemon. It's an incredible franchise. And, and a complete anecdote is that I have only finished maybe one or two of the games throughout the years. And one of them was uh, in the first generation. Get ready for a lot of the similar stuff in every generation because Pokemon has a 
formula, much like Pixar has a formula or Disney, and they stick to that formula and we still buy everything. But there you have it. That is the first generation games. I could make this a much longer video, but let's be honest, how entertaining would it be for me to go through every single battle that is unique to every player anyway? And I also am not going to list all the Pokemon because I don't have that kind of memory or time. If you're excited about more of a blast from the past when it comes to Pokemon, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below, including your favorite Pokemon. I am curious. I'd like to know from the first generation only, by the way, I'm going to make that rule a thing for some reason. But anyway, <laughs> feel free to hit that subscribe button, head on over to my Patreon page where you can get some fun stuff. You'll probably get the outtakes from this video, which I'm sure are quite um, interesting. Thank you for watching and as always keep on shining storytellers.